Okay, so hello, fellow classmates. Uh, my name is Rebecca Pegg, for those of you who do not know me. Um, welcome to YouTube, for those of you who this will be your first time. Um, I hope that you got the email and that it was somewhat helpful, but if it's confusing because it's all on paper, I want to show you how to do it um, the written way, which is probably easier to do. So just remember the sentence, Karen hates Dana because Dana called Michael, star, star, micro. Um, the first thing you want to do is write out the letters that you can find at the bottom of page 60 in the book, just like this. And I don't know if this is mirror image, I've never done a tutorial um, but you write it like this and then you're going to draw a column beside each letter like I did on the Word document so I'm about to draw that and show you what that's going to look like and I do this so that I keep my number in each column so that I don't get confused or you know put my milliliters in the deciliter column or anything like that So be patient. So it would then look like that. And for each number I do, this is just my way of staying organized. You don't have to do it this way. I draw a line like this so each row has its own place. So the first problem I'm going to do, I'm going to do 0.53, which I think this is the one I did on the paper. I'm going to go to, from 0.53 milliliters to deci, like D-E-C-I, deciliters. So this problem right here. Now, like I said, 0.53 is less. I remember that, is less than one. So you're going to write it this way. Now the point is right after the M because it's smaller than one. So if it was 1.53 mill, milliliters, right, you would put the 1 in front of the point. So are you with me so far? Okay. I hope so. So we're going to go to deciliters. So I'm going to try to do this backwards because you're having to watch me. You're going to move your decimal place to down here, which is your deciliters. So you move it. one two decimal places because your point goes right after the D okay and then all you do are add your zeros and that is your answer point or zero point zero zero five three deciliters is the equivalent of point five three milliliters so let's do another pro problem with whole like a um, whole numbers I think that's what they're called Let's do 1.67 grams, and we want to go to, it could be milligrams, it's just milli, it doesn't have to be milliliters. So we have 1.67 grams going to milligrams. So your grams are your bases, which is your, oh, which is backwards, which is your B. So, you put your decimal point right after the B. Okay? Because remember, the B is where 1 and above go. So, we have 1.6. Yeah, I got in the way of the last problem. We have 1.67 grams. And we're going to milligrams. 